I'm Diane Tosetti with Microsemi. Welcome again to Microsemi University's School of FPGAs, a series of video segments to inspire your next designs and further introduce the features and capabilities of our products. Today's video explains the low power attributes of our Polar Fire FPGAs. Microsemi Polar Fire FPGAs are cost optimized, lowest power, mid range density devices. The family spans from 100,000 to 500,000 logic elements. Users can expect devices to deliver up to 50% lower power than comparable 20 nanometer SRAM FPGAs. So, how is it possible that Microsemi has built this architecture to achieve lower power? There are several design and technology features which enable PolarFire to deliver the lowest total power. First, let's talk about the process technology. PolarFire FPGAs are built on 28 nano nanometer CMOS process embedded with Sonos non-volatile technology. This manufacturing flow delivers significantly lower static power than SRAM FPGAs. The static power of competing SRAM-based FPGAs is often one-third to a half of the total power consumed. PolarFire has much lower static power and consumes up to 50% power overall. Now let's talk about some chip features which lower the total power of the device. Our transceivers are optimized for up to 12.7 gig throughput. At 10 gigabit performance, we consume less than 90 milliwatts per channel. Competing device transceivers were designed for high-end products, which are larger in die size and consume additional power. The PolarFire FPGA fabric is purpose-built for 100,000 to 500,000 LEs. Competing mid-range FPGAs are actually stripped-down versions of high-end devices. This results in larger die size and translate to higher power. PolarFire FPGA fabric was developed and targeted at the mid-range. There are also two application-specific features that deliver further power reduction. First, the 1.6 gigabit differential IOs, which all have a CDR to support SGMII. This allows general-purpose IOs to support gigabit ethernet and not require a transceiver. These differential GPIOs consume less power than the transceiver IOs. If your design uses Gigabit Ethernet links, PolarFire will be your lowest power solution. The second feature ties into static power. We have the lowest total static power and we have an even lower standby power mode called Flash Freeze. Flash Freeze saves the internal contents of your design and you can set the I.O. pins to specific values that you want. Think of this as a sleep mode. The wake up time from flash freeze to operation is only 140 microseconds. So if you have a battery powered application or a design which can support a sleep mode, you can take advantage of this even lower power feature. This concludes the PF102 session on our PolarFire FPGAs. I hope that you have a better understanding of how these devices deliver up to 50% lower power at mid-range densities. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more videos coming soon. And remember, PolarFire cost-optimized FPGAs deliver the lowest power at mid-range densities. Want to learn more? Please visit www.microsemi.com slash PolarFire for more information.